deep for Central. And Alberson falls down as he kicks it. Another squibber picked up by Hewitt at about the 20. Down to the 25. Now he's back to the 20. And he'll go down very near the 20. Well, he tried to get around the corner, but about five or six of the Huskies there waiting for him. Late flag, I think, thrown on the pile over there. Chris Norman, among others, on the stop for Northern. And they're talking to Doug Roberts again over there. And I don't know, maybe Northern's going to have to kick off a third time. 342. Still to play first half. Again at halftime, Rob Young will be along. Our Inquirer TV 41 scoreboard. All of the scores across West Michigan. Joe Carnes and Joe Beck are out handling our highlight ball game tonight. Kent Wood and Jennison. You know, he ran an awful long way with that kickoff. <laughs> for no yardage. Picked it up on the 20-yard line on the near sidelines and ran it all the way across the field. You see the penalty being marked off against Northern. Dead ball foul, I think, against Northern. So the return will stand. The 15 yarder. Personal foul. So it'll be first and 10 for the Central. Football at their own 35. There are some of the Northern cheerleaders. And they got to be happy right now. On top 7 nothing. But here comes Central. Dan Knight, the sophomore, is the quarterback. Dan throws that behind him. He'll throw. Look in pattern. Incomplete. Stacy Young had it for a moment. Bounced it off his shoulder pads and. Finally, one of the Northern Huskies came in, crunched the football, knocked it away. We'll watch again. Great top by the defensive back. I believe it's number 35. You see as, he's, as Young is juggling the ball, he takes a hit right here, separating him from the ball. Looks like Chris Norman was the one who came up and hit him. So an incomplete pass. It'll be second down 10 for Porting Central. Somebody nice into the backfield and just plain leveled the Tyrone central Jones. running back. Tyrone Jones. Six foot two, two hundred pounds, defensive tackle. And Northern has got to be fired up. They got on the board first. There's only a couple of minutes left in the half, and they are beating Central off the ball, both offensively and defensively. I never did see who the running back was. He got hit so quickly. There's Tyrone Jones. Up in the middle, there are some big gentlemen in this football game. Portage Central has 13 players, 200 pounds or better. Northern's got half a dozen. And there are several who've got college coach Ruler. Third and ten. Back to throw is nice. And complete out here at midfield. And trying to take it down the sidelines was Terry Martin lost his footing on a cut. Or he may have been gone. Brent Keller, the guy from Northern who came over to... Stopwood might have been a central touchdown, but a great pass and a great play on third down for Central. Well, it's the old argument, who would you rather be on a muddy field, the receiver or the defensive back? And you can see why most folks want to be the receiver. He knows where he's going. Terry Martin knows where he's headed. The DB has simply got to try and follow him, loses his footing. And Terry Martin could have been gone, but he lost control there, trying to make the cut. And a nice, big play anyway. Nice pass for young quarterback Martin. The throw again on first down. Knight will air it out. Fight for the football and incomplete. Stacy Young was over there with Mark Marshall from Portage Northern. That one kind of hung up there over by the sideline. Going to be incomplete second down 10. 215. Still to play first half. Northern 7. Central nothing. There's number 82, Mike Marshall for Northern, who the coach calls the best athlete on the team. Does punt returning, kick returning, is a wide receiver, and also plays defensive back. Second down, 10. Where it's central. Wide out to the top of the screen. And throw set. Option to right. Is the football loose? I think it stays with Central. Looks like number 88, Devin Poldum, and the tight end fell on the loose football. Let's watch again. There's and a foul up on the exchange between Johnson. Knight and Van Johnson. As you see the loose ball and fallen on by, by Polderman. So Central keeps it. That's their third fumble in the first half. They haven't lost one yet, but they've dropped the ball three times. 
Hey, Florida Florida has not dropped the ball yet. I noticed in the coach's perspective, one of the things Portage Central head coach Bob Knight said was, we can't afford turnover. Third down low. Pass. Trying to find Stacy Young over the middle. A little too high. It'll be fourth down. And with 145 still to play first half, fourth down. And the football resting at the 45 of Portage Northern. I don't think Bob Knight will take any chances here. No, and even though you've got the wet field with Albertson, that's close to field goal range. You don't want to give up a chance at three more points before halftime. Bob Knight on the sideline has sent in the punt team, Bruce Eaton. Will stand back at his own 40. Good check will bounce inside the 20, down inside the 15, and Northern will be pinned way back at their own 12 yard line. We've got a late flag in the middle of the field. Well, there's been a lot of yellow handkerchiefs out here tonight. And a good punt for Eaton, too. Got a good bounce, and it's back Northern up. So you got to figure they'll just try to run out the clock here in the first half and take their 7 0 lead into the locker room. Well, I thought I just saw the official signal the penalties against Northern anyway, so probably mark it another halfway back toward the goal, which would start Northern back on their own six-yard line. And if so, you're right. I don't think they'll do anything special there. Common penalties on punt returns and kick returns, if it is one. But no, it seems to be going the other way, Mark. Well, well they're bringing it back. It was a late flag, and it looked like a possession foul. I don't think they know where they're putting the ball. Yet. <laughs> I'll tell you what. I think the offense for Central is back out on the field. An illegal block against Northern. I wouldn't have thought that would give Central 15 yards in a first down. I would have thought it been after the possession change. Look like Central keeps it. An illegal crackback block, but it looked like after the possession because the flag was thrown down here around the 25-yard line. But Central has the ball. Knight will keep it. And he's inside the 25, down to the 23. Boy, a key penalty right there. Central has punted it away. Northern committed the penalty. Sometime after the punt, Central keeps the football. And now in excellent field position with 105. Still to play first half. Clocky is running. Now inside a minute. Second down about three. Idle on the pitch for Marty Williams. He's cut down. He to get out of bounds. Clock is still running. Great and now there's a whistle and a timeout for the central. Matt Lalone again taking the legs out from underneath the ball carrier. Number 35, Marty Williams. Well, that was certainly a sure way to tackle Marty Williams. You see Williams trying to get around on the outside, and here comes Lalone. Great tackle, great play. <laughs> and good call by the official. He is down before he crosses that out-of-bounds strike. So a timeout for Portage Central with 39 seconds on the clock. They will face a third down and about one. I suppose you go ahead and run something and get yourself the first down and maybe a pitch or something that gets you out of outside and try and run out of bounds, stop the clock, and then keep it in the end zone a few times. Northern has made a couple of key mistakes in the first half, a couple of key penalties that have left Central in possession of the football. But so far, it hasn't cost them. Early on in the first possession on fourth down, there was a penalty that kept uh, Central in possession of the football in Northern Territory. And again, here late in the first half, but so far they've been lucky and hold on to their 7 nothing lead. Well, and you'd like to say a great night for football, huh? But I'm not too sure. As long as they're out there and we're in here, <laughs> great night for football. Third down about a foot, facing Forty Central. Football down at the Northern 20. Of course, this is the first time today they've been on this side of the field. First down plus a few, down to about the 15-yard line with it. Goes yep. Steve Hewitt, and they'll hustle right up there. Step to the line of scrimmage. Clock is stopped for the chains to move, and Central runs right up there, and they'll take the snap immediately. 
get the best footing down here, too, since they haven't played any football down the center of the field. Watch is coming, and Knight is wrapped up and dragged down. Darren Canerva. Jim Caldwell, Jim Caldwell, 5'10", 180-pound senior, in the backfield very quickly for Northern. Good play by Caldwell. And I didn't see it, but Portage Central's obviously called another timeout with 23 seconds left now. Northern's on top, 7-0. A 30-yard touchdown run by Matt Lalone. Albertson kicks the extra point. That's where we stand, 7-0 Northern. Last year, Northern didn't get on the board. Shut out by Central, 20 to nothing. In fact, we didn't make anything of it at the time, but that touchdown by Northern, the first point Central here. First two ball games for the Mustangs were shut out. Boy, you can see what kind of hitting we got going on as there are scrapes and scratches all over that northern helmet. Here's the Huskies helmet with the big paw on the side. And they played a good first half of football. We talked a minute about the quarterback for Central, number 10, Dan Knight, who's only a sophomore. He's a starter on the JV last year and beat out a junior and a senior for the job this year. Obviously, has a good future here. 17, back to throw, little flare pass to Hewitt. 20, and knocked out of bounds at about the 18-yard line. Kevin Caston over there very quickly. Clock stopped with 15 seconds left. I'll tell you one thing I'm impressed with for Northern, and you'll see it right here by Kevin Caston. Their pursuit, very quick to the sideline. A lot of pressure on the quarterback, good pursuit from the outside. You see the defensive back playing a kind of a soft zone, but real good pursuit. Here's Caston forcing Hewitt out of bounds. I'll tell you, Derek Green was coming right behind him, plenty fast. Well, Coach Wood has mentioned he doesn't have a really big team, but he's got a smart team and he's got a quick team. And that quickness has been apparent here in the first half. We were just about set to play, and I think an equipment problem, perhaps, is what is sending Kevin Caston off the field. So a substitute set out there for Portage Northern. Ken Newman back on the football team for the Orange and Brown. And Central will break the huddle. Fifteen seconds left here first half. Trailing Portage Northern, 7 nothing. And if they don't score on this play, they've got to get out of bounds. Timing pattern into the end zone. We've got contact and interference. Oh, the defensive back certainly didn't do it on purpose. But there was contact with the football in the air. Interference. And there was no way he could have caught that pass either. The flag thrown on the one-yard line. Well, they'll talk things over with Doug Roberts, but I think there's little question Portage Central will accept. And let's see, line of scrimmage was back at about the 19. I think they'll get half the distance to the goal. Down to the 10. That's what it is. They're to get off the 10. Standing and then a little more. So they'll set it down at the 9-yard line. Will it be an automatic first down? And it is an automatic first down as well. So a first and goal for the central. But the real key, there's only 12 seconds left here first half. And now a timeout called by Northern. As the Huskies will talk things over. There's Matt Malone. And what a ball game he's played already. It's another indication on a big third down play. Central fails to pick up the first down. Northern commits a penalty, and this time on a pass that, that could not have been caught. And they get to keep the ball and to keep possession. And an important possession, too, with only 12 seconds left in the first half. You see our score, the home team, the Huskies from Portage Northern 7, Portage Central nothing. You know, if we can get a look again at those uh, Portage Northern uniforms, there's something that ought to make you feel very much at home, Don Stephan, and that is the little Portage Northern logo on the shoulder. Did you notice that or not? I noticed that uh, if it's the same logo as Coach Wood is wearing on his hat. It looks to me like uh, the New York Yankee logo with a P inserted instead of the Y. And Don is a transplanted Long Islander. 
Now, we don't get a real good look there, but I think that's uh, the New York Yankees emblem. But it's a real good look at number 45, Derek Green, all six foot, 200 pounds of them. Yeah, that's, that's the old NY. And maybe we get a shot of Coach Joe Woods. He's got the emblem on his hat. Okay. It's going to be a first down and goal facing 40 Central. They've got 12 seconds to try and put the football in the end zone. You look down the northern sideline. Here we go. Dan Knight, the sophomore, has wide out to both sides. Looking past complete touchdown. Randy Bowler, I believe, number 87. The nine-yard touchdown pass from Dan Knight. And with an extra point, Central could tie things up. Just a quick slant as Bowler faked to the outside, went to the inside, and Knight hit him. Great catch by Bowler. Falls into the end zone for the six points. So two key penalties on Northern kept the drive alive and with only eight seconds left in the half, Central pulls to within a point. On for the extra point, is just fine. Kick is up. And is good. And just like that, with eight ticks to the clock remaining here first half, this one's all tied up at 7-7. Well, it doesn't matter what you do for the first 29 minutes of the game, it's the last 60 seconds to arrive. Again, two key penalties, and, and you knew it had to catch up to Northern sooner or later. They couldn't afford to keep giving key penalties on third and fourth down to keep Central in possession of the football. And actually, Central has not been impressive in moving the football offensively, either on the ground or in the air, and it's been more the penalties that have uh, allowed them to, to march down the field. You're right. Offensively, I think Portage Northern has done an awful lot more in this football game than Portage Central has. And, of course, it's got to take an awful lot out of Northern, although they have the whole halftime to regroup themselves. Uh, at least a touchdown underdog, as we mentioned. Come in, play a great first half. Control the line of scrimmage, both offensively and defensively. And uh, just when it looks like they're going to take a seven-point lead into, into the locker room at halftime, they wind up tied. Bob Hop will kick it off for Central. Kind of a squib kick. Picked up in the middle of the field at about the 35. By Northern, Ryan Smith kind of weaves his way out to about the 38. And there are three seconds left. Time for Northern to throw one Hail Mary if they'd like. And I think they're going to. Northern calls a timeout. So I think Joe Wood is going to try something here with these last three seconds. Well, just about the only thing he can do if he, if he wants to look for a score is to just throw the ball downfield. It would be unlikely that they could throw a short pass and, and get it down into the end zone. Three six remaining here before halftime. Seven seven. We're tied. Eagle and Northern all even. First down ten. Portage Northern football at their own 38 yard line with just three seconds left. And you have to believe some kind of trickery coming up for Northern. I see Brent Keller, the quarterback, out there talking with Matt Lalone, standing in shotgun formation. Well, they say every team has at least one trick play. We might be seeing it right here. Oh, one ball. Horn sound. No flag down the sideline. There was some contact down there between Mark Marshall and the defensive back for Portage Central, but no flags, and we have reached halftime. 7-7, seven, seven, we're tied. Reminder, coming up next here at halftime, Rob Young will be along with our Inquirer TV 41 scoreboard, Joe Carnes and Joe Beck with our highlight game, Keith Kentwood and Jennison, and a great second half of football. Still ahead. <laughs> 